Start the puzzle by pulling the lever and then standing on the switch to the left of it. Now follow my path to get to the end of the puzzle. To solve the second statue puzzle, stand on the platform and then follow my path. To solve the final statue puzzle, stand on the platform and then follow my path. Begin the puzzle by pulling in the first piece to the left. Move it over to the right side and pull it out. Then reposition the rings like this so that you can pull in the second piece from the left side. Now rotate the outermost ring in order to add the big piece back to the circle. Rotate the big piece to the left side and then pull it out. Next, rotate the ring so that you can pull the middle sized piece out on the right side. Okay, now pull the big piece out from the left side and move it over to the other side with the middle piece. Now just align the ring so that you can pull in the little piece from the left side. Next, grab the big piece and move it to the other side. Then align the ring so that you can match the piece on the right side into the circle. Alright, now we can just rotate the outer ring to add the last piece. To finish the puzzle, just match the rings to form a horse. For this puzzle, leave the bells alone for now and climb up the middle part of the structure. Run along the hallway until you see a bell, then shoot it. Move over to the edge of the cliff and shoot the rest of the bells. Once you get all of them, the door will open and you can get your coin. While at the top of the building, move to the edge of the wooden beam and grapple the well below. Now just jump off the left side of the beam to act as a counterweight and lift the top off the well. The goal of this puzzle is to step on all of the water fountains to shut them down before the timer expires. The first fountain you need to swing over to is the one over here. Yeah. 
Now just swing to the rest of the fountains in the order that I do to finish the puzzle in time. From the position where you start, run to the right towards the painting with a fat looking shadow. Then pull the first lever on that side. Run to the side to the left of where you are and pull the furthest lever from you. Run to one side over to the left and pull the middle lever. Now move over two sides to the right and pull the closest lever to you on that side. Run to the side to the right and pull the lever that's furthest from you. Stay on this side and pull the lever furthest from you on the left. Run over one side to the right and pull the furthest lever from you on that side. Move another side to the right and pull the furthest lever from you on that side. Begin by moving the middle statue so that the prism is going into the rainbow light. Then move the statue slightly to the right so that the red light is hitting the statue on the side. Once it's in position, swing over to that statue. We tend to the other two. <sighs> now, turn it so that the prism is also in the light. Turn it just a tad so that it's just to the left of the other statue, but not too far away. Alright, now swing over to that statue. Push the statue over so that it's in the beam of light. If you line it up right, the light should bounce off of a mirror on the ceiling. We're done over here, so head over to the other side with the broken statue. Walk over to it and press triangle to trigger a cutscene where Nadine decides to act as a statue. Swing over here to where the statue is, then roll it into Nadine's light to complete the puzzle. Begin by pushing the lever into the forward position. Then pull the cart forward until it gets stuck. Go back to the lever and pull it back into its original position. Now push the cart further back towards the rubble. When you can't push it anymore, go back to the lever and push forward one more time. Okay, and now you can push it all the way to the wall to break through. Everyone? Climb over the wall and into the area. Uh, yeah. so much for our way up. Then head over to where part of the ladder is hanging to boost Sam up. Once the dialogue finishes, climb back over the wall. Now push the car all the way back up the hill. Once you get to the top, pull the lever to move the tracks. Then push the car over to Sam so that he can drop the crate on it. Okay. Ready. You got it. 
Alright, now you're free to climb up to him and continue. Okay, that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.